All right, this is a video by Frank Clark of a 1992 Kolb Mark III. It was um, manufactured here in Washington, always hangered. As you can see, fabric looks like new. It's just beautiful. Uh, full length, uh, not full length, um, you know, aileron and flap. Uh, beautiful tail. Uh, has a full, full swivel. Where's the, where's the tail? Oh, there it is. Full swiveling tail wheel. Goes all the way around so you can makes it easy to pull it into the hanger and then it locks into position like that it locks into position like this and as you as you move the the uh, the uh, elevator or the rudder you can see that it moves uh, that and uh, end number there uh, three blade power fin in excellent condition ground adjustable Rotax 5 keep shining the camera too higher Rotax 582 dual carb dual ignition could use a little bit of paint on the muffler but that's pretty common and a B box reduction drive uh, 2.58 to 1. Uh, it does not have oil injection. This is the oil for the for the uh, what do you call it uh, uh, rotary valve and electric start. Uh, very clean operation. Uh, the uh, vacuum fuel pump is part of the engine. Fuel filter, strobe, and we'll go around and look inside the cabin here and show you that. Rings are good shape. The uh, doors, opening doors like that, very, very handy. New tires and uh, hydraulic uh, disc brakes. Uh, four point padded, or my camera, four point padded seat belt. Actually, excuse me, it's five point. It has, a, has one on the, in the very center as well as the side ones here. So it's actually a five point. Dual, dual control sticks, joysticks, dual rudder, rudder pedals, and it has a single set of heel brakes for the brakes, compass, uh, dual EGT, vertical speed indicator, airspeed indicator, altimeter, Hobbs, as you can see, the Hobbs. I don't know if you can see it. It has 285 on it. RPM, and then water temp. Over here we have the switch for the strobe, master switch, and then in front of the pilot seat here is the dual ignition switches here and the start the start switch right there. The uh, in-flight elevator trim is here with little notches so you can notch it wherever you want it. And fuel, it's a fuel pump, hand fuel pump in, in interior. And then from the, from the pilot side you can see the fuel gauge a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see it 
from uh, the other, but from the pilot seat, you can see the fuel gauge. You can see here, if I can get my finger on it, right there. It's where the fuel quantity is. You can even see it on, see it on the video. And a really big 15 gallon fuel tank, a lot of storage space, and a little thing over here so you can get this get to the storage space from the side so you can put stuff way back down behind there's a, a big compartment back down there brand new AGM battery here and cushions for the uh, for the bucket seats and let's see got your pedo here which is real nice and the other door there the doors have a very simple latch mechanism that just swivels very simple very foolproof and the cabin is fully fully covered except for this area here which if a person wanted to put a piece of in colder colder climates you probably put in a piece of uh, uh, plexiglass or Lexan in that, fill that out. Otherwise, it's fully enclosed. There is no heater. And, uh, gosh, I think that's it, about it. Oh, a strobe, did I say? There's a strobe up there and also a strobe on the bottom. And I think that's about the extent of it. Beautiful plane, flies great.